Hello, this is Brandon with Fog Vades, and today I'm going to show you how to properly set up and use your brand new Inakin iTaste variable voltage and variable wattage electronic cigarette. It's fairly simple, and once you get the hang of it, you'll be vaping away in no time. After opening the box, inside you're going to find a small package of five iClear 16 clearomizers, a package that contains the USB adapter and USB connecting cable, the device itself, a pretty thick instruction manual, but don't worry because only about 10 pages are written in English, and a quick quick little cheat sheet type card that explains you the basics of filling different type of atomizers and clearomizers for the device. So the first thing that I want to do is fill up the iClear 16 clearomizer. The reason why I want to cover this first is by the time we go through the rest of uh, covering the device, the juice will already be saturated enough into the wick so you'll have a nice clean flavor when you take a vape. So the first step in filling up this clearomizer is first removing the protective rubber cap. You just discard that, we won't need that ever again. Then second of all, you're going to go ahead and unscrew this black lip piece. As you unscrew the black lip piece, you, you'll get to a certain point where you're going to be able to freely just pull it out with minimal effort. Once you do that, you'll be able to look inside of the clearomizer and actually see the, the silicone cap that sits on top of the wicks to protect any type of leakage. Now, the trick to filling the clearomizer is you can see that little, little open space there in the top of the silicone cap. You don't want to get juice inside of there. If you do, there's a risk of it leaking into your mouth and it tastes kind of bad, stuff like that. So to avoid the mess, we're going to go nice and slow. And what we're going to do now is take our juice. I'm using Baker's Delight by Fog Vapes. I absolutely love this flavor. If you like banana nut bread, try this. It's fantastic. But enough of my, uh, my praise for that. Once you have your juice ready to fill, go ahead and take off the top and use the little pipette if your juice comes with it. All of Fog Vapes juices do, so it makes it really easy to fill. So you're going to take this pipette you're going to tilt the clearomizer to the side so we don't get it inside of the uh, that little hole that I showed you earlier on the protective silicone piece. And after you stick it on the side, you're going to squeeze the pipette very gently. This way you could get all that juice down alongside. Now if you want, you could go ahead and move the pipette around as you're squeezing. This way you could kind of even out how the clearomizer is filling. So let's see. Now, you could keep filling up the clearomizer essentially to the bottom of this plastic cap. The pl the plastic or the I'm sorry, the silicone cap here that covers the wicks. You want to stop when you get right to the bottom of that. You don't want to go above it because it could it could also flood inside of here and create juice to back up into the mouthpiece as you're vaping it. So go ahead and continue to fill it right until you get to that plastic top, which is right where we're about at. Now it's okay if you go a little bit over it. It's, it's not going to break anything. You don't have to worry about that. Like I said, you just might get some juice splashing up in your mouth, which isn't a big deal. But, you know, to keep it nice, friendly, and simple as possible, we'll just leave it at the bottom of the cap. Once we have it filled up to the bottom of the cap, like shown here, we're going to take this black plastic lip piece, stick it straight back in, and then tighten it down until it's nice and snug. Now you don't really have to torque it down so that it snaps off inside, you just have to keep it nice and snug. Now if there's any little bit of juice here around the rim, you could just take a paper towel or napkin or whatnot and just wipe it right off, it's okay. Now our clearomizer is filled. While the juice is setting into the wicks of this clearomizer, let's go ahead and cover a couple features of the device itself. First, I want to show you, it has a, a standard micro USB charging slot here at the bottom. You could use any micro USB cable you could get your hands on and it will charge this device. The one that comes with it works perfectly fine as expected. 
I like it because I could use it as a pass-through device. Now, what pass-through device essentially means is if I'm at work and I'm doing something on my computer, I could take this cable, plug one end of it into my iTaste to charge it, and the other end into my computer system. So this way, as I'm vaping at work, I don't have to worry about the battery draining on me because it's plugged into my computer and constantly charging. The same is true if you decide to use the iTaste AC adapter. Just plug the USB end into here, plug the micro USB end into here, and you could also vape while your device is plugged into a wall if you don't have access to a USB port available. On the front of the device, you're going to find an LCD screen, a plus and minus button for adjusting the wattage or voltage, and the power button itself. In order to turn the device on, what you're going to do is push the power button three times in rapid succession. You'll see it go red, yellow, and blue to green. Essentially, this, is, this means that your device is powered on and it's ready to use. If you go ahead and press either the plus or minus buttons, you'll see the LCD screen light up, first with the puff counter and then with uh, the power level if you're in wattage mode, or the voltage level if you're in volt mode. More on that later, we'll just focus on uh, the basics of the device first. To turn the device off, you're going to use the same three-click rapid succession pattern as you used to turn the device on. To check the current, the current voltage that you're at or wattage that you're at, like I said, you're just going to push either the plus or minus button, and the first number that it shows you is how many puffs you took off of it, followed by the voltage or wattage measurement that, on the screen as well. When you first start your device, it could be in either voltage mode or wattage mode. A rule of thumb is to pretty much stick to wattage mode because you won't have to worry about doing any type of uh, mathematical formulas to uh, find what type of voltage you should, you should be vaping at depending on the resistance of your atomizer. It's, it's essentially a science in itself. So we're going to stick to the basics here. We're going to make sure the device is in wattage mode. And how we're going to do that is simple. We're going to hold the power, the plus button in for two seconds and then hold the power button in at the same time. By doing this, we should see the puff counter come up, the current mode and measurement that, that it's in, and then it's going to switch to wattage mode. So let's go ahead and hold the plus in, now hold the power in. So there's current mode, and now we're in P mode, which is wattage, power. So now that we're in wattage mode, we should be set for vaping. But first, just to double check, usually anything below between 6 and 8.5 and watts is a safe, safe range to vape at. So what we could do is we could go ahead and push our plus button here. We're at 7.58. Let's back it down to 7.5 watts, and this way I know we're ready to vape. At this point, if we push the power button, we'll see it light up green. This is the battery itself firing. This is what's going to cause the coil to heat up the e-juice the e and vaporize it so you could inhale it. So let's go ahead and get that started. Now that we're all set up and ready to vape, you could go ahead and take your iClear clearomizer and roll the juice around a little bit just to make sure that it's covering the wicks as good as it can. After doing that, take the clearomizer, place it on top of the device, and start screwing it down. Now you're going to tighten it just until it's snug. You're not going to really torque it down because it's the possibility that you could, you could damage the device or damage the clearomizer itself. So just make sure it's nice and snug on there. Go ahead and press the button once, make sure that your device your device still fires, and after that, you're all set to go. You can just stick the lip piece in your mouth, the mouthpiece in your mouth rather, hold the button down on the device to fire it, and inhale it like you would a cigarette. A good technique though is to do nice, slow, steady draws, because if you do it really quick, uh, you're not going to get a really mouthful a really good mouthful of vapor you're just going to get sparse vapor and it's probably going to turn you off from the whole experience so go ahead give it a try and let me know what you think mm. 
I really love this Baker's De Delight juice. It's extremely fantastic. I love banana nut bread. This is like a match made in heaven. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and found it very useful. And I'm extremely glad that you're entering the world of vaping. There's a lot of cool people inside this world. And, you know, we all shame, share the same background experience as you guys did. I myself smoked a pack and a half to two packs a day of cigarettes. And vaping is what got me to quit. And I absolutely love it. I don't have to go outside and freeze my butt off anymore. I could just sit in front of my computer at work, vape away, and no one says a word. And I don't have to freeze. It's great. It's a win-win. Hope to hear you guys soon. And if there's anything I miss or if you have any questions, feel free to call Fog Vapes or, or contact one of us by email. Um, most likely, anything that I missed will be covered inside the manual. This, this explains to you, you know, a couple cool features of the device itself, such as the, uh, the battery indicator, um, all the different types of threading, uh, the, the cutoff and whatnot on the, the device itself. But you're going, to, you're going to have a real good time vaping it, and I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So take care, and this is Brandon with Fog Vapes. See you later.